Ah, greetings, Gangrel. Robin? Why the solemn face? I was reflecting on times past. You mean, when you were king? Yes. Thinking back, I realized that perhaps my rule was overly harsh. Wicked, even. That's fair. Perhaps a bit of an understatement, but... Ha! <laughs> Don't mince words, do you? It would be silly to deny it. We fought and overthrew you for that very reason. I would expect a man of your caliber to say nothing else. But I had my reasons, you know. We were threatened by Vaughn and Walhart. But if I could somehow unite us... By we? I assume you refer to Yelis, Regna Ferox, and Plegia? It was a desperate time. None of us knew how far Val might go. But if I could subjugate the continent and build one mighty empire, then maybe we could halt their advance. Or at least, that's how I saw it. Yours was a brutal reign that terrorized your subjects and your neighbors. An alliance built on intimidation and threats is doomed to failure from the beginning. Don't lecture me, you arrogant whelp. I didn't say I was right. I was blinded by circumstances and unable to see any other way. Why am I explaining myself to you? What do you know of running a nation? Well, I suppose I don't. <laughs> Enough of this. Gangrel? Robin. What are you doing out here all alone? Nothing in particular. Thinking about the past again? <sighs> I thought I had good reasons for my war, Robin. I swear I did. But in the end, it was Krom and you lot who stopped Val. We did, didn't we? A smug grin does not suit you, tactician. In my mad quest for strength, I unleashed horror upon thousands of innocents. How many have I killed? How many families did I rent apart? And for what? For nothing. I cannot argue. What you did is difficult to forgive or forget. How does it feel to be so untainted by mistakes that you can judge others? If you truly started a war to try and save your people, you should own the deed. Your time would be better spent on things besides self-pity. Oh, tell me, wise one. What things should I be doing? You can join us in bringing peace to the land once and for all. You could wallow in the past the rest of your days. You will find no absolution there. Your words are daggers, Robin. But only because they ring true. And so? I am a king no longer. Just a mad dog roaming the land without a leash. I should rouse myself and fight for peace because you say so? I don't need one of Krom's lackeys to give me purpose. Look out, world! This time I've got a better plan. A whole new outlook! That sounds more like the Gangrel I know. In a good way. Yeah! Gangrel is back, and he's spoiling for a fight! Hmm. For once, I'm happy to hear that. Friend Robin. Hello, Gangrel. Did you see the shock on that Risen's face? He wasn't expecting that! <laughs> Sadly, I didn't have the chance before you lopped off his head. You certainly have become quite the force on the battlefield as of late. <laughs> and you know who you have to thank for it? You! You and your barbed words that finally goaded me into action. Glad to be of service. But that does remind me of something. What might that be? You once worshipped Grimma, correct? As a member of the Grimliel? <laughs> Those old wrinkled warts with their dusty tomes. I was Grimliel in name only. Of course, it was the faith of the realm, so I knew most of its rituals. Religion can be a powerful tool for uniting people behind a single cause. I wager a Verja used it to convince your subjects to take up arms. Perhaps. But in the end, I'd say she used me as much as anyone. And what did the people of Plagia really think of the faith? Think? Ha! 
they didn't think. Between my iron-fisted rule and averse inquisitions, they had no choice about it. But as I said, it was a cruel time. Your people were cowed by your political might, but the temples offered solace. Ah, yes. The solace of the damned. Thank you, Gangrel. Hmm? What for? We can't help the people of Plegia if we don't understand their situation. Our cause is simple. To save this world and all the people in it. And that includes the poor wretches of Plegia who remain in the thrall of Grima. You are an odd one. Plegia has given you hardship and horror, and yet you would fight to save us. <laughs> I'm almost impressed. Now is not the time for recriminations or revenge. If we are to save the world, we must band together with every willing soul. We must be prepared to offer forgiveness. <laughs> I see it's not just barbs on your tongue, but honey as well. You are right. There will be time plenty for judgment in the next life. Exactly. If I want to right past wrongs, how better than to save my own people? Gangro will return, not as a tyrant, but as a liberator! Indeed, the road to redemption is long, but it begins with a single step. <laughs>